that I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me look at that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost made quick work of their poison. <laughs> Now the sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. They're impervious to physical attacks. My arrows can disrupt their protection spell. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened? <laughs> Wait. Skull and Hottie are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. 
At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freya, too. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. You have a spouse to remember from.
All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <gasps> So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. At last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes with 
those last awful words I said to you. You have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I, you envy. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, Brock. Here to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? I suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with a thing. Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the. That ought to last you a little while. Very good. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. <clears throat> what sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Boom. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incant. Su. No. The elves in Flair's camp mentioned a gate like this in our time. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim? Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. <laughs> so it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answer's he's rushing into fate and search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully ride some more things. The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. your unfinished business. I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left.
Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through? The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. To what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say their magic. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. An armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. You got some slag from the homeland, huh? Hand it over. I'll fix you up some. <laughs>
Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. weren't always this ravenous. Ecosystem. It's out of balance. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. All is desolation. A fitting fate. Spirit. Freya, you return. Astrid. What happened to you? To your garden? The angry are. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until it returned to live forever amongst its putrescence. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The Earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. When my garden blooms, so we have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. <laughs> mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell <laughs> Glad to see that still works. <laughs> Looks like more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now.
See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. I await the day when my garden grows again. Life returns to the dark. Good. Family crest of Henir. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Anything illuminating. This garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. It's alive again. Let's return I can to Astra. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya, how did you? It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Rolled. My friend's souls later. are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. Must be safer this way. We'll need to find another way around.
Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding site. still care for you. I know. Ugh. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I fail all the same.
Do you know why I left that night, Mimir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad, I refused. He was furious. Throwing every object he could find destroyed the room. There was only coldness after that. I tried to make it work, but... No one could have lived like that, your majesty. Learn anything? One more for the tree. Allow me. Food now. I never thought I'd come back here. Reavers, of course. No. Right side! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 
I'm looking for are still here. door is shut. If memory serves, we'll need to light both of those torches to open it. I see the chalice. Look at this. From the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him.
I can't read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. What's it say, brother? Better now? No. The pain only grows. Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? It's a denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding. Oh! <laughs> 